Hey gang, AV here, and welcome to my review of the Boss Fight Studios Vitruvian Hacks Penth Series 1 Penthesily Amazon Commander. Uh, here she is in the packaging. She is a carded figure. As you can see, that's her name. That's her occupation. It is an adult collectible. This channel is not for kids. If your kids stop watching. Hacks stands for Highly Articulated Character Kit System. Excellent artwork there of Pathesely. There she is in the bubble. And even though it looks like she's not really in her tray properly and that one of her weapons is missing, um, it's right there. Believe it or not, I have never opened this figure. Sometimes when you get things from Boss Fight, this is how they look. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know what it is. Don't know why. Maybe they had to figure out for display and then put it back in. I don't know. But... It is what it is. As long as everything's there, I don't care. Uh, but it is collector-friendly packaging, so just make sure that when you look at the figure, make sure everything appears to be there. Um, there is a bag in there with other accessories, so um, everything that should be in the tray is more or less accounted for, so I'm not too concerned. Uh, let's flip it over. As you can see, she has a file card. Big fan of the file cards, personally. Uh, it's more or less the same size as a standard G.I. Joe file card from way back when. And if you would like to read it, feel free to pause the video and do so now. I love the fact that they include these things. It really helps to flesh out the characters, give them more depth, um, give the whole toy line a lot more substance so that they're not just nameless or... Uh, nameless or generic characters up on your shelf. They actually have some personality. And I love that about these figures. I wish more companies did something like this. Um, here are other characters available, at least at the time of her release. I'm not sure how many of these are still available now. This is, is an older figure from Series 1. Um, there's the QR code for the Boss Fight Shop. Dot com. Feel free to use the QR code or, or go there yourself by typing it in. Uh, this is where you can get this figure and, and several others that are available. And without further ado, let's get her out of the packaging. Now, she is in collector-friendly packaging, like I said. Best way I've found to open them up is to bend this flap right here by the barcode. Bend that back. And work it underneath the cardboard. Then slide the card out this way. And then remove the figure tray. Put the packaging off to the side. Let's angle this down so we can get a better look at her. And as usual, we're going to have a look at our accessories first. I'm actually not going to open up the bag this time. It looks like it is pretty, pretty well uh, securely taped closed. And from experience, I know that these bags rip. And uh, I really don't want to rip this one. So here is her sword in the packaging, as you can see. We've seen that sword numerous times with these figures before. It's just gold with silver um, paint job this time. Um, it will fit perfectly in her hand, same as the other swords. As you can see, the hilt handle is more or less the same width. So I can demonstrate this for you using this sword instead. She also came with an extra set of hands, which I'll explain when I do the uh, when I do the articulation and a figure stand, which I've also covered numerous times. She does have foot pegs, foot, uh, peg holes in her feet, so she can utilize that no problem. Uh, while I have the figure in my hand, let's have a look at her and her detail. Her ponytail is a separate piece, it feels like, although I'm not sure if it's glued in or not. doesn't seem to want to turn, although it is a little loose in there. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk breaking it, so. Oh, nice sculpt on her. There's some character in her face. I like that. Subtle black uh, buttons right there on her armor. 
give that some nice character too. They're repeated on the back, both sides. Straps aren't colored in though. She's got a blue skirt with a notch there that you can use to stow one of her weapons. She's got leg armor and sandals. Very nice. Very nice figure. Uh, wristbands too. Very cool. All right. Let's finish her accessories before I lose track of what I'm doing again. <laughs> um, she comes with this shield, uh, which has a unique paint job on it. As far as I know, she's the only one with this particular paint job on her shield. Looks very cool. Looks like a griffin attacking a horse. It's either a griffin or a uh, unicorn. I'm not quite positive which. Very cool. Very cool. Looked at that sword already. And here is this sword. Very nice paint job on her accessories. I like that. Uh, let's have a look at her articulation. So her head is on a barbell joint, which allows her to look down, allows her to look up, although hindered by her ponytail. She can rock her head from side to side. She can do a full 360. You just, again, you have to watch the ponytail. Um, she can doesn't really rock back and forth like the other figures. Um, her arms can do a full 360. They can go up about that high. There's nothing at the bicep. Her elbows can bend over 90 degrees up and almost 90 degrees down. They do a full 360 also because they're pegged in. Although it is hindered by the back of her elbow there. Um, her hands are on a peg, so they allows them to do a full 360. They angle down and up. The extra set of hands that she has in that bag there will bend in and out. She does have an ab crunch on a ball joint, but it is completely hindered by her armor. You can't access it at all. Um, you could actually kind of make her twist a little bit because her armor is a separate piece from her skirt, but that's about all the motion you're gonna get out of there. Any more than that, you're gonna risk popping the seam on her armor, which is not the end of the world. It is just a peg and it does peg in, but believe it or not, it is kind of a pain to get it pegged back in once it pops loose. So I try not to do that with the figures that I plan on keeping, and this is one of them. So, uh, her legs can go out about that far, which is pretty good. Um, not hindered by this at all because of the slit on either side. Um, she can do the can-can about like that because of her skirt. But if you bend it up, you can get a little bit more out of it. Just looks a little less natural. Um, she's got double-jointed knees, which allow her to get her heel back about that far, which is excellent. Um, her feet are on a rocker joint, so they can rock back and forth. And they also hinge back and forward about that much. So she's got excellent range of motion, and the nature of her um, armor actually doesn't hinder her articulation very much. Um, not as much as other figures, frankly. So she doesn't seem to suffer like, like most of the uh, Spartans do because of the nature of her armor. So that's a good thing. Um, let's do a size comparison now. Here she is next to a standard four inch figure, G.I. Joe. As you can see, she's roughly about the same size as him. Here she is next to a vintage G.I. Joe, three and three quarter inches. As you can see, she's noticeably taller. So she definitely fits in better with the modern era four inch figures than she does with the vintage three and three quarter inch figures. Um, all in all, I think she's a great figure. Um, I'm 
happy to have her in my collection. Like I said at the beginning, this is the first time I've actually had her out of a package, and I like her a lot. She's pretty cool. Pretty cool. As a matter of fact, um, she makes a better Wonder Woman than the Wonder Woman I reviewed from Haya Toys not too long ago. So, uh, she's got better posability, and she looks, she looks more the part, I think. So, very cool. I do like this figure a lot. And I do highly recommend her. Let me get this figure in. There we go. So, if you like, this has been AV. If you like this video, check out my channel. If you like what you see there, then please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.